Thank you to my Patreon supporters. A double shout out. Thank you to Xavier Zamora, Victor Vegas, Valimir Brockovich, Troy Smothers, and Safe Moon Oz for being higher level patrons. You could join that for as little as $1 a month. There is a link in the description. Also, thank you to my YouTube members. You can click the join button below this video if you'd like to join that. Please keep in mind that I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you guys to go do your own research. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into the news. I talked recently about the price action movement of SafeMoon, and I was bullish. And overall, I'm still bullish. There's a bigger picture here, though, that we really need to take into consideration. And it's nothing against SafeMoon. It's what's going on in the world. As you guys are well aware, there's a war that's taking place, and that is having a dramatic impact on economic principles, what kind of commerce is going on between this country and that country, and bank systems, and just all kinds of things that involve financials are definitely being targeted right now, and how progressively over time the world's going to continue to react to these things, especially with the world news of this attack or on what. It's, it's very on edge right now. Everyone feels that sense of being on edge. We've had an initial pullback for sure because of the invasion that took place. Now there's still a lot of other things that are uncertain and some people are starting to kind of get accustomed to it or numb to it, however you want to phrase it, and then still looking back in the market and saying, okay, what's the next play here? Because it can only suffer for so long, right? But looking at SafeMoon's price, what I was really trying to identify was that it was in this big descending uh, channel right here. This is a descending wedge pattern, which is typically a bullish indicator. When I made my video last, one of the things I pointed out was that it was making its breakout, which was a strong positive sign. However, this could be a fake out. We could see it start to retrace. What's interesting is that it has not only stayed above that top level of resistance, but it has three days of closure Two of them were technically red candles, but the third day of closure signifies in a traditional sense that it is still bullish in the fact that it was more likely that we're going to have a continuation up. It is kind of writing down this channel right here, which if it does continue this pattern for another day, I would reconsider potentially raising this level up to the top right there so that that forms a new trend line position. But we're talking about probabilities here. The probability currently, just looking at the TA, suggests it's more likely to go up than to go down. I was concerned it could be a fake out and could end up pulling back down. And if it does so, then based on where we are right now, the worst case scenario that I'm seeing um, of likelihood would be down here at 948, which would be breaking down below a key level, which is off the one. And uh, that would establish a new all time low for safe moon there's lots of good news that's supposed to be coming out for this month of which i've been reporting on my channel and there's some news that came out earlier today i already talked about that with moon pay you guys can check out that video if you're curious to find out more information there but as it is going down we're going to see some support at 1256 a further decline down would be at the one range before it breaks that zero and then down below that would be at that 946 level i was talking about there Volume, very, very low right now. There is not a lot of trading activity. In fact, if we go over here to SafeMoon Globus' website, great tool, great website, safemoonglubis.com. I highly recommend it. We can see that the level of volume is still between that 2 and 4 million range. At 2.614 million right now, last 24 hours, down 7.48%. Something I really want you guys to take into consideration here is that there are more and more partners that are coming on to the SafeMoon swap, which means that every time you have a new partner come on, there's a higher likelihood we could see the volume kick up because of just how the liquidity system works, how the SafeMoon swap works. Every time there's a transaction, 0.25% gets transacted out, helping the SafeMoon ecosystem. Very powerful tool. And that is something that would obviously have an impact on SafeMoon's volume price. So what you guys should really be understanding here is that you have communities in all these other different projects. It's not two or three, there's, there's a handful of these cryptocurrency projects that are now part of the SafeMoon swap. And they have their own people. And some of those people, they don't even own SafeMoon. They just own that token. They maybe downloaded the SafeMoon wallet so that they have the functionality feature a little bit easier, uh, being able to acquire it. And with MoonPay, their new update that they have could create an 
a great opportunity, not just for SafeMoon, but for all these other partners that are part of the Binance Smart Chain side. So I, I find it to be very interesting what's going on there. My point is, you add all these partners and the volume is still down. Can you imagine when this market starts to recover and there's a bull run? You're not going to see a volume increase just because of people that are participating in acquiring SafeMoon. You're going to see a dramatic increase because of people that are doing all the trading through the swap functionality with all these partners they're getting added. And let's not forget that more partners are also looking to get added, of which I have one that's rumored. I'd made a video about on that earlier today, too. But yes, there are more and more partners that are wanting to come on to SafeMoon Swap. And it's an incredible moment for sure. They say buy the dip, sell the rip, buy the red sell the green, that kind of mentality, right? The market is down here. It's rough. Could it get worse? Theoretically, it could. It could, guys. I'm not promising that it won't. But things go down so far until there's a certain point where they start to recover. And when you look at inflation, a lot of other factors, they not only tend to recover, they hit new highs, new all-time highs, and they go out into a breakout zone, price discovery zone is what we call it. And um, it's it, it's very interesting. So pulling back over to the charts here, you can just see on the daily volume is very, very low. A lot of people are kind of waiting for specific things to come out. MoonPay, Moon Pay, for example, their thing that's going to roll out tomorrow, that very well could create a great opportunity for the volume to start picking up as it creates an easier onboarding experience for people to try and get access uh, access to SafeMoon with less steps and with having to pay less money. So that will be interesting in itself, but don't forget that MoonPay stuff will affect these other cryptocurrency projects that are on SafeMoon Swap. As it is, if this decides it wants to start making a rally, the next major level zone, we have a little bit of bounce off here that took place at 1383. Keep an eye on that. More so, Fibonacci level at 1,500, beyond 1,500, then I'd be looking at 1,800, 2,000, and 2,300. We'll focus on those key spaces for now. As it is, there is a potential of a further decline. If we scroll on down, you can see mostly there are buy orders that are coming in. The market itself is hurting. It's not me speaking out of my butt when I say like, oh, it's not just on safe moon. Look at the whole market. Bitcoin down. It's starting to come back up, though. It's making a recovery. It looks like it's starting to make its way past $40,000 again. It's at 39348 I saw that earlier, and it was down, I think, 7 or 9% or so. So it is trying to make its move. Ethereum down, BNB down, BNB being the big hit here on SafeMoon's price because BNB is very heavily tied in with a lot of the stuff with SafeMoon. We do not have the SafeMoon blockchain yet. So overall, a, a lot of buy orders coming in. Occasionally, you'll see some sell orders. But I'll keep you guys posted on everything. I just wanted to give you a broad overview on this. There's no whale reports to report on. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it there. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys feeling bullish right now or bearish? I'm, I'm personally feeling bullish. I know we got two days of closures of red, but I think we're still with indicating signs that suggest we are more probable to go up than to go down. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. I do have referral links to get free crypto, free stock in the description. Webull has an incredible deal right now for stock stuff. So if you guys want to check out their platform, you could technically do some trading of crypto projects on there. It's a limited list, but they do have some things there. So uh, if I was to recommend anything right now, I would say that one. But again, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. And if you guys are new to the channel, do not forget to hit subscribe. Hit the thumbs up like button. It definitely helps us out with the YouTube search algorithm. Click the bell icon so you know whenever we go live. God bless, and I will see you in the next episode.